attitude and me showing up to make the best of the situation. Oh, the weather outside is giving, giving DoorDash, giving, just got my laundry dropped off, wash and fold, giving this. How many times in my past few videos have I been wearing this hoodie? I would say a very high percentage, a concerning percentage if I had to guess. I am tired of wearing this hoodie. But what else am I supposed to wear? I don't think I've ever experienced such a long, wet, rainy winter in my life. In my life. So, it's um, let's just... So I'm gonna need you to back up. Uh-uh. <laughs> It's, I'm trying to film, okay? And you just have plopped yourself. Yeah, you think that's funny, huh? You think that's funny? Anyways, what we really need to do is order food. What should we get? What's your favorite rainy day food? Mine is like a good soup or a good ramen or like something warm, some noodles. So good. Yesterday I got this like vegan chicken ginger pho. So good. I was supposed to save it for today, but I ate it all. So now here I am. I need to eat once again. Something I'm not ready for is graduating and not having a dining hall. There is a very final stage of adulthood where all of your meals become your responsibility. Like even in college, it's the same as elementary and high school and middle school because you have an institution that is feeding you meals at least twice a day. In college is different because you have like meal swipes, I guess, whatever, but still. Like, there's 24-7 access to pre-prepared meals. And I guess... Okay, maybe my point isn't making as much sense as I thought. Regardless, today, I think I'm kind of feeling some, like, pizza vibes. Like, some some garlic knots. Garlic... Oh my god. I don't want to see how many times I've ordered that, actually. Okay, fine. You know what? We're friends. Ordered five times. Ordered four times. Okay, cool. And what about it? Okay garlic knots and they have these insane insane oreo cookie bites so good i got it yes bitches chocolate vanilla swirl cookie crunch this is gonna be let's do like a mukbang we're big reveal type situation this is always interesting because this papa john's has done me dirty so many times but oh <gasps> i I'm not kidding. This is the most the sauce has ever been filled up. Usually that space at the top is how much sauce they put in it. It's criminal. Every single time it's like, well, the sauce is a little dry on these, but I'll take it. Okay, let's see if this one's any better. It's stuck. Oh, there we go. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow. Also, literally the most I've ever gotten. I'm happy with this. Anyways, yeah, this has been my fixation meal. I I can't stop. It's just so good. Let's eat. Thank you, DoorDash. It's just such an amazing concept. I really love it the most. I need to stop talking about it because they're not paying me. Listen, it's come to my attention that I have been being a little bitch, a little brat, okay? A little bit whiny, a little bit too complainy. Hold on, let me silence my notifications. So sorry, professor. I've been a complainer. I've been a whiner. I've been making the worst of my situation in a number, a number of areas. It's funny how sometimes things are 
like there's one issue going on in your life, but actually all of those issues are tied together. So I've just been doing a lot of thinking. Thinking about what situations am I complaining the most about? What ways am I kind of like ignoring my own ability to change the situation? I think a lot of times I like adopt this powerless attitude, like victim, like this is happening to me. Oh my God, the world sucks. My life is cursed. Like I fall into that thinking pattern so easily. Like that's my default. And something has just come over me the last couple weeks where I'm like, hold up. Hold up, like how much more am I imprisoning myself? Am I making things worse for myself? Like am I emphasizing and only focusing on a certain disaster where if somebody outside of the situation were to see it, they'd be like, nothing's wrong. But me, I'm over here like hellfire is raining down and the world is ending tomorrow. I will say like changing your attitude is very hard. And even after you realize that maybe your attitude is contributing to some of your suffering, still not easy to like flip the switch and be like, okay, attitude changed. I haven't been making the best of a lot of the situations that I've been crying and screaming and complaining about. And that's on me. And I haven't given these situations their full shot at becoming what I want them to be because I've only been showing up as a party pooper. I've been showing up to the party with a pile of shit in my hand and wondering why it doesn't work out, you know? So another layer of that is that when I am suffering, hellfires raining down, yada yada yada, I don't say anything about it. So say it's like an interaction with a person or something in my relationships. I am secretly and silently so angry and so mad about something or so upset with the way something turned out. That other person will probably never know. Like I keep that so bottled in and I don't say it. And I think sometimes it's because I don't know the best and most productive way to say it. But sometimes the struggle to express anger can keep you in a negative cycle of being angry at people for not acting the way that you want them to act and not being able to accept them for how they are. So I think in a lot of my relationships, I've been realizing that the change that is needed, it's on my part. It's my communication that's lacking. And I can't even say that all of these things are a failure and that they're not worth the time when I haven't even given it my full, like I haven't even shown up to say, hey, this is what I need. This is how I feel. Like I'm kind of sounding like a TikTok therapist right now, which was not my goal. But maybe the TikTok therapists have something fine to offer. I don't know. I don't know. Oops, my boiled water. Hold on. I don't want to burn it. I'm going to be making some serious changes coming up, dealing with my attitude. And I'm going to start making the best of things. I'm not going to respond to situations just based on what's not working in my favor or like what's not going right according to my own perception. I'm going to take what I'm given because ironically, all these situations too that I'm talking about are things where by principle, like if you were to analyze the ingredients of the situation, I've been given everything that I wanted. Like nothing is missing. The missing part is my attitude and me showing up to make the best of the situation. So... I'm gonna maybe making some changes in the upcoming months regarding this revelation. And we're gonna see how things go. It is easy to complain. It's time for me to put on my big girl pants. So we'll see how this goes, guys. Honestly, I think it's gonna work fine. I really do feel like somewhere in my brain has like turned a corner. And this is such an interesting feeling because I think it has to do with my, I don't know, you know how your brain is changing up until you're 25? Holy shit. I genuinely feel like every six months at this point, probably for the last year, almost two years, I've been transformed into like a completely new person. Like there's some part of my mindset or perception of things that has been like flipped on its head and it just keeps happening over and over and over and over. What an interesting yet disorienting process. I'm whisking matcha. Sorry, I should have told you before I started making this very annoying noise, if you can even hear it. <sighs> okay guys, let's get ready to go out to dinner. I am going to get all you can eat oysters and happy hour. Maybe doing my hair in the I'm gonna do my hair and then I'll be back. This is hair number one. I did like two little baby buns with some of the hair sticking out, but I kind of feel like it looks mm, a little strange. I need to see it from the back. Is it bad? Yeah, I'm not. I'm not feeling that. I'm just gonna do a ponytail with some hair clips. Oh my God. Today was actually a crazy day. A crazy day. I was laying on my bed about 
10 a.m. ish the whole building starts shaking my mirror in the corner is like swaying back and forth my tv is rocking about to fall off the stand an earthquake a whole earthquake was happening i knew exactly what it was for some reason i was just like i don't know maybe i've just like pictured myself <laughs> being in an earthquake a lot but i was like oh an earthquake like the earth is quaking right now i yep that's what's going on it was a crazy feeling and it was loud too i don't know and my window was open so i could hear it all happening like outside as well um, nothing happened it was literally just like a little shaky shake and then it was over um i was a little scared definitely a little scared that's the ponytail oh shoot i left some of the bottom pieces out mm, do i care but yeah can you believe that an earthquake then I started getting into these conspiracy videos on TikTok. TikTok just knows I love a good conspiracy. I really do. Oh shoot, I forgot to put moisturizer on. And I'm not even sitting in front of a real mirror. Is this really the best idea right now? I'm trying to find the best way to film this. Sorry we had to move from the living room to this dark bathroom, but I just could not get the lighting to work in there. I hope you're happy down there because you're not moving. Anyways, like I was saying about my conspiracy theories, this guy, he posted a video yesterday and he's talking about how there's a solar eclipse coming in the next couple days. It's supposed to be like a weird one where it's like making the shape of an X on the earth. Honestly, a lot of it sounded crazy, so I don't remember the exact details. I was just having a fun time watching it. He's going on and on about how there's gonna be all these earthquakes. Come to find out today, there was an earthquake. And then a couple scrolls later, some lady was like saying that a crazy guy came on her subway cart yesterday and was saying that there was gonna be a massive earthquake coming and i mean hey i don't know what's going on all i know is earthquakes are scary i was definitely scared but then it was also kind of funny well not funny i think it was funny as like a trauma response so that was crazy and now anyways i'm going out to eat oysters you know just another day this is alpha one a little off the shoulder asymmetrical top i'm gonna put on this little belt and then in my hair i did these two clips oh my gosh okay i actually do have a confession so if you watch my video where i was yapping and yapping and yapping about how i would not buy ballet flats i caved okay i had like a businessy type outfit that i needed to buy and wear ballet flats were looking like the best option for that occasion so i bought some and i'm not mad like without a jacket this bag Cute. I might wear it actually in the other sleeve. Actually, I don't know. I can't tell. I like, and then with the jacket, it's like, ugh, God, we're tired. It's not jacket season anymore. It's spring. Okay, so this is outfit one. Hmm. I had another one in mind, but I'm feeling kind of lazy, and I feel like if this works, why don't I just keep it with this? Right? Just keep it like this? Should I? Uh... I just got a crazy text. And it's happy hour. Oh, no.